Hi, Delta. I like your drawing a lot. The grapes are beautiful, too. I like that you had multiple shapes. I don't think that uh, gradient mesh is appropriate for everything. Gradient mesh is great for weird shapes like the banana. Um, and you were getting the idea. There's, a, you know, I would just make that gradient in there a little bit darker and maybe then repeat it again on the edge and then make the end of the banana dark. And the grapes are beautiful. I think you've um, shown a lot of skill there. The apple, I would definitely just use a radial gradient. So uh, let me just show you off to the side. It's pretty simple to use them. So let's pretend that's my beautiful apple. And then you go to the gradient tool, double click on it. And if you click in here, it automatically adds a gradient. Um, that doesn't look like an apple. But if we go to radial, you start to see uh, the spherical quality. And then. Um, Let's see, this is not working great. So red and then perhaps a orange. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this to be a little bit more. What are what, apple colors? I can't think off the top of my head. So it's really pretty red. And then perhaps I'll also do um, a highlight of almost white, bright yellow, new, white, and yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so now um, then you take the whoops, then you take the bar and you move it around. So then you get more of a spherical shape. If you make it bigger, it'll make the highlight or just the different settings larger I don't need to rotate it I'm just trying to make it larger there we go okay so that looks more like an orange obviously you have to um, tweak the colors but you start to get the idea I pull it out even softer one oops deselect so you can see from a distance which one looks more spherical but again, like I said, that's, you know, really good drawings. Um, another solution for this, if you don't feel comfortable with the gradient or perhaps you're not um, super happy with the way your gradient turned out, doot, doot, doot. maybe um, also you just want to do a subtle gradient like that. We'll move it over. You don't like the way the highlights look. And, but you do want just a little touch of a highlight. So what you can do with that is you can just make a small circle, take off the gradient, just make it white or whatever color you want, put it on your sphere, and go to Effect, and let me see. I'm looking for Blur. Um, drop Shadow now. I forgot where Blair lives. Let's see. I will find it with you. Where do you live, Blur? There you are. How did I did not see it. Gaussian Blur. And then you can get a preview and see how it looks. You can make it a real big one so you can hardly tell. You can just give it a slight. You can do a little bit in the middle. And then from there, you can select and scale it. Depends on how you like to work. Let's say you really like that size, you really like that shape, but now you want to play with the opacity. You can go up here to the property window and adjust that. So those are some ideas instead of using gradient mesh. And again, gradient mesh is great, um, but it's really for odd shapes like a banana. All right, let me know if you have any questions.